Last week saw the passing of Peter Green, one of the finest British blues guitarists and founding member of Fleetwood Mac. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at one of his brilliant guitar solos and perhaps find out why some people used to call him the Green God. blues guitar playing by Peter Green. Now the song is called How Blue Can You Get? And it was originally first recorded by Johnny Moore's Three Blazers in 1949. Baby, I've been so downhearted. And that sounds quite similar to early Ray Charles blues records, but Peter Green's version with Fleetwood Mac here sounds quite different. What an absolute beautiful way to start your blues. I mean, that's so much more interesting than to start your blues with the standard regular beginning of... No, it's... The silence between the notes, they build up the tension. I mean, this, this is nothing. In itself, it's, it's nothing. If you start the guitar solo with this, it's, it's crap. But when you play it like this, that is such a great lick, by the way, typical. Peter Green. Mm -hmm. And those two notes, suddenly they were very, very meaningful because of the silence. The thing about Peter Green is, it's not just what he's playing, it's what he's not playing. That's what makes it incredibly beautiful. So we're in the key of B, and Peter Green is playing the minor pentatonic scale. But also the major pentatonic scale. And most guitarists are familiar with both those scales, but very often you hear people play like this. right? But what does Peter Green do all throughout the entire solo? He does this. So he continuously switches between the major and the minor pentatonic scale, never staying in one spot for too long. Now, why does he do that? Well, Peter Green understands that whatever you play in the major pentatonic scale tends to sound more light and happy, uplifting. But whatever you play in the minor pentatonic scale tends to sound more dark and a bit more pissed off, if you will. 
It's a completely different vibe, as you can tell. And in order to have an interesting guitar solo, you want both set of emotions. It's like telling a good story. If your story is like this, page one, everything's fine. Page two, everything's still fine. Page three, everything's fine. That doesn't make a good story now, does it? Well, equally, it doesn't make a very good guitar solo either. So you want a bit of the happy major pentatonic? As well as the nasty, pissed off minor pentatonic. And those two together makes a much more interesting guitar solo. So, as we can hear, Peter Green is very proficient at playing the BB King blues box. And he plays some very brilliant and sweet licks here. And it really works because of the dynamics. Dynamics meaning playing soft and loud and everything in between. And he tends to play the bends a bit louder. and the root note a bit softer. It's a good starting point, because if you wonder, well, okay, dynamics, nice, but, but what note needs to be soft and loud? I don't know. Well, there are certain things you can do to practice. For example, when you play a lick, like Peter Green does here, a good rule is to end soft. And preferably with a bit of vibrato. That sort of stuff. But when you listen to Peter Green playing, there really are no rules. That's the good thing about his playing. It's unpredictable. It can go anywhere. So he doesn't always end soft. You want to mix it up. He might end soft, but the next thing you know... Now he ends loud. So you don't want to do the same thing over and over again. BB King said that Peter's tongue was the sweetest tone you know, he'd ever had and it made him sweat and he, he said all these amazing things about him. So I think he knows what he's talking about. Okay, guys, I'll tell you what. I will play the solo a bit slower so you can perhaps join me. Taps and the backing track, as always, are available on my Patreon side. And go grab your guitar and let's see if you can play along. <laughs> 